All right. Hello, everyone. This is Dominique from Belgium, from Drop Solid. And uh, welcome to the session um, how we can create more value with Drupal by offering it as a DXP rather than as a, a CMS. And we'll, we'll look at the, the implications for, for agencies and, and also customers. Um, so, quickly about myself, started out as a software engineer, founded TropSolid in, uh, in 2013, and then had to do a lot of learning about uh, digital marketing. Um, so I really got an inter interested in, uh, in digital experiences, in technology, in business strategy behind it. Um, so in this CMS, we'll see that actually Drupal is not enough anymore uh, to just offer it as just a CMS. Um, well, because the customers want to know their customers and we'll also see the, the huge benefit you can have from, uh, from offering it as a DXP. But first, let's look at um, where we are coming from. Uh, if you look at the digital roadmap, uh, most companies, organizations go through uh, when, when going digital, they, they, they probably start out with a simple website offering their products and, uh, and services. And then they start moving um, all the way to the right where uh, the, the holy grail is, the one-on-one -on -one customer experience. So where everyone has his personalized experience and finds directly what he's looking for uh, at that company in that context. But in between, there's a, there's a couple of steps. Um, I, most companies start building the, their organic search. They start to segment, build their segments on the website, starting to offer solutions uh, for, these, for these customers, building journeys. Then we will see that uh, they're expanding to more and more channels, um, starting to use uh, rule-based personalization, start to use marketing automation, uh, driving the customers through these, through these funnels. So, here you can clearly see that um, just using Drupal uh, for this, it's, uh, it's lacking uh, capabilities. Now, what we want to achieve is that we want to have this, uh, this customer and we want to give him uh, what he wants through any channel in any context. Um, so let us see what is, uh, what is that uh, DXP and what's, what's so different about it. Um, so, most people think it's just a new branding for selling websites, but actually um, it's like a bigger change as moving from HTML, CSS driven websites to CMS. The jump from CMS to DXP is, is as big. And if we look at the difference, uh, the difference is, is, is that the focus is on the, is on the experience. And we'll see um, knowing the customer is very crucial to build the experience. Um, we'll be talking about personalization, omni-channel, analytics. And we'll also see that we can, uh, we can decrease uh, a lot of costs by using all these, uh, these extra uh, capabilities. So the DXP, if we look at the management system of the, the, the management part of the DXP, we will see that, that you can immediately recognize a big part of, uh, of Drupal in there as content management, account systems, the user systems, uh, the permission system, security administration, access control, collaboration, knowledge management. But then on the experience side, there are some capabilities that, that Drupal does not have out of the box. Um, like it, it does not allow you to uh, have analytics out of the box or uh, personalization. Uh, it can integrate with uh, all sorts of tools, but it's not integrated uh, into, uh, into Drupal. Um, you have to use uh, proprietary systems to, to achieve this. And on the other side, we have things like AI, um, of course, there are things that, that are possible with, uh, with Drupal. Um, you can run it in the cloud with uh, services like, uh, like Acquia and, and Pantheon and, and, and DropSolid. Um, it does have the in, in integration and interoperability, but it clearly lacks, if you look at total, the AI, the analytics, the personalization, like all the data related components, um, it doesn't have that out of the box. 
So knowing this, we would say like, okay, but why, why would you consider selling or buying a, an, an experience? Why, why, would you, why would you be interested in this? Well, if we look at um, some research around this, around customer experience, we can see that um, projects that have an impact on customer experience, whether it's digital or not, like a broad research uh, suggests that 93% of this has an ROI. And how are we measuring this? Like how oh, we're having happier customers, increased revenue, more customer lifetime value. But we also see things like reducing cost of service. Uh, why is that? Yeah, well, you get less telephones, you get less emails. People are finding what they are needed because the experience is, is personalized. Uh, we even see an increased value uh, of the brand because you are perceived as uh, an organization that knows its customers. And then a more macroeconomic one, and I'm really curious to see an update after 2020, how, how that is, has played out uh, this year. But if you would have invested $100 in a, a stock fund, uh, like, like say the S&P 500, which is tracking like the general market, uh, you would have had an, an, uh, $150 uh, after 16 years. But if you would have invested in a, in a stock fund of companies who are heavily investing in customer experience, you would have had five times as, as much. Um, and, and as I said, yeah, I'm really curious to see this one evolve for 2020. So... This is what we called return on experience and return on experience. I found some other research from uh, competing platforms, proprietary flat platforms where Drupal has to compete with uh, in the market and which have been offering these capabilities for some years already. Uh, what we see is uh, with these personalization engines that we have more views, more time on site we see decreased bounce rates, we see higher open rates of emails, we see higher self-service usage, usage, like 100, 200%. Uh, we see better service. So we see some, uh, some real, real impact here uh, that is that's having a, a big impact on the business of, uh, of customers. Um, and then obviously in e-commerce as um, higher order values, increased revenue, less cards abandoned, um, and all these all these things translate in uh, yeah, in, in real real turnover and uh, real uh, cost uh, decreases. So customers are definitely in to to hear uh, this story, and, and we think that Drupal Drupal can stay uh, stay behind here. So Drupal as a DXP, how how could that work? Um, Maybe to, to give us a little bit of inspiration, I have a, I have a little video that, uh, that explains a little bit the, the principle behind um, uh, yeah, how, how a DXP creates a personalized experience. And then we'll go a little bit more in detail on how that works in, in Drupal and uh, other systems that connect with Drupal. So let's watch. The Drop Solid Experience Cloud enables you to optimize the customer experience, resulting in higher conversion rates and better customer satisfaction. Let's have a look at how this works. We have our anonymous surfer searching in Google for flower piece. There we go. Well, look at that. The first result she gets is Florista, a website with a fully integrated Drop Solid Experience Cloud. Our still anonymous visitor is browsing the homepage. She's scanning through the themes of the new collection, looking at the featured products and taking a closer look at the upcoming workshops. While she's doing all that, the personalization AI is using his magic. By using machine learning, the AI identifies different segments of visitors and tries to fit our visitor in one of those segments. On the Florista website, there are three specific segments. There's the B2B prospect, the online shopper, and the explorer. He or she is now looking at the latest inspiration from the blog and is showing an interest in the first article. There's a great step-by-step -step guide on how to make your own flower arrangements. And there we go. The AI has identified this visitor as an explorer. That's how long it takes. 
Our explorer gets to the end of the blog article and fills in a form to receive a free download. Great! Now our explorer has a name and we even have her mailing address and consent to start sending newsletters. Our anonymous visitor isn't that anonymous anymore. Let's have a look at what information we've received. So, her name is Sophia, Sophia Mertens. Her email address is sophia.mertens at gmail.com. And we know that she's an explorer. We even know what she looks like from the picture connected to her Google account. The log shows when she first visited the website and what actions she has performed. And now, the fun part. Let's put that information to good use. The next time Sophia visits the Florista website, the homepage looks slightly different. We know she's an explorer, not an online shopper or business, so the content has changed to reflect that. The subscription form for the workshops has been put at the top of the page, just the way Sophia likes it. As an explorer, she's eager to learn and get creative herself. She's not looking to buy a flower piece, not at this point at least. How great would it be if Sophia also received newsletters tailored to her needs? Oh, there's a new email. Let's see what's in it. Wow, workshops, tutorials, DIY packages, exactly what she was looking for. Now that's a great user experience. All right, so now we all have an idea what a great experience looked like. Let's break it down a little bit. So we got Sophia, this is our persona. Uh, she converted from an Instagram channel. She got activated on the website because she wanted to get inspired. We get, uh, we get this conversion. Then she gets the first email to download. We nurture, uh, we nurture her with, uh, with relevant content. And then when she gets back to, to the website, uh, the website reflects what we already know about her. And if we are sending her emails, we also take into account uh, what we already know about her. So this is just checking out the behavior a customer has and, and start using it in, uh, in the CMS. So how is it made? Um, well, it's made with Drupal, obviously. Uh, Drupal extended with um, Matic, which is an open source marketing automation platform, which allows us to, to build this. Uh, it's using forms for automation. It's a Drupal module called the uh, Mautic forms. And as you know me, is the last component. It's a customer data platform, also open source customer data platform is the engine that allows us to uh, create the segments and send these segments to Drupal and Mautic. So if you want to build such an experience, uh, what we do is we, we try to get insight in our visitors. Now we're gonna build these segments. So here in our example, we had the B2B shopper, we had the Explorer, which was Sophia, and we have the online shopper. And once we have these, uh, these segments, um, these tools can, can, can recognize uh, in what segment uh, a customer is falling and then you can personalize the content across uh, the channels. So, oh, and this is also all fir with first party cookies. So you get the cookie consent and then you can start tracking uh, these customers. Now, if you look at this, then uh, while getting in these, uh, these profiles, so we'll be, we'll be using uh, this tool to, to segment them. We'll also be seeing uh, all the events that are coming in, everything they'll be clicking on. And then the, the machine learning is able to divide all that content, all that captured uh, behavior data. It will be able to segment this uh, using a clustering algorithm into different groups. Um, and then, yeah, we have, uh, we have these segments. And these segments are usable in, uh, in Drupal then. Uh, also, you can also extend this manually. For example, if you have a, a campaign for Mother's Day, you can also uh, classify uh, these segments and make combinations of segments. So you can do all sorts of things in, uh, in Drupal and in Matic with this. So in Drupal, if you would be using the, uh, the layout builder, for example, uh, it's possible to just say, okay, if you drag a block on top of it, like for the workshops, you only show it for uh, the, uh, the explorers. 
and yeah then using a, using a little browser extension you can you can then test uh, these pages how they look for the different uh, different segments same thing in Matic. So what you're looking at now is uh, is, is uh, someone uh, in, in Matic and you will see in the profile, there's the integration you can do with the explore, which gives you the segment, which allows you to build a personalized, uh, a personalized email, uh, which uh, you drag and drop the blocks in the Matic email builder and you can select uh, for which segment you will be uh, building this email and this way you can build your uh, your your campaigns uh, if you want to build forms where you want to go uh, into into detail where you uh, where you can send uh, different uh, different mail chains well, you just use the segments and you build your uh, your trees with this and then you just drag and drop it in uh, in your Drupal site, and uh, it's on the website. And then finally, there's uh, there's the integration with uh, with Google Analytics, where you can see that uh, Google Analytics receiving uh, what we call a custom dimension. So it's segmenting the data that's already in Google Analytics, and this way you can track all your sessions uh, for all the segments that have been built. So here you can then see the goal conversion rate for each segment, the time on site, the pages per session. And this you can track in time and see if you have been personalizing your emails and, and your website. Well, is it having any effect on my uh, conversion rates? Now, the implications for agencies, if you look at this, I think it's 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 pretty big because if you're an, an agency and, and you're already selling Drupal, why not sell them an experience? Um, they'll get to do more strategy. They'll get to do far more UX and design because you have to design all these journeys. There's also more integration work for you. So you'll be integrating Drupal with uh, uh, these platforms. And of course, there's a, there's room to do optimizations. Once you measure, you can work with the customer and uh, go 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 from there. So, um, doing that, you'll be you'll be a strategic partner and helping customers to to get a competitive advantage. Uh, I think it's definitely definitely needed because if you look at it, like five years ago, we at Tropsolid, we also started out as 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 a Drupal shop. And being good at Drupal was was just just enough. But right now, like all the customers we have now are asking for all these things. Um, that's uh, that's that's why we we also do them now. Um, because I think if you if you don't, um, you will be facing a, a lot of competition that is just just offering uh, development CMS development, and it will be really hard to differentiate yourself. If you look at the customers, I think it's pretty obviously is if you go for an experience and, 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 and also work with content and data, then yeah, you will have more time on site, more page views, uh, higher customer lifetime value, all these things, you'll have happier customers. So definitely worth it. And if you look at the implications for developers and marketers, here we can see that developers and marketers have definitely will be working closer together uh, also, developers will, will have to focus on building experiences and uh, marketers and content managers now will have more control. They also have the data component to, uh, to build their experiences, to build their journeys for their customers. So how do we how do you become a part of this uh, a lot of uh, a lot of these efforts are being open sourced uh, so there's the the installer for drupal there's the connector with uh, apache unomi there's the Mautic paragraph if you want to be part of this you want to contribute you want to use this it's all on drupal.org uh, talk to our cto nick Finov if you want to know more um, he can he can guide you around if you want to get uh, really technical and uh, I believe this afternoon, Lane, our marketing director, also has a, a demo which goes uh, more in-depth 
um, on what I've just uh, shown. And of course, yeah, if you're interested, you can uh, you can partner with us. Uh, there's a form on uh, the dropsolid.com website. Um, so the conclusion of this session, CMS is not enough anymore. Um, the customers want to know their customers. And um, yeah, we believe that if you can move Drupal from a, a CMS to a DXP, and it can be done in an open source style, it's truly open source, um, yeah, you can deliver a great return on experience. So thank you very much. I'll give the word uh, back to uh, to Cici.